Hey guys, this is the Card Collector, and today we are going to a coin sports card collectible show. Fingers crossed we do have some content to film and maybe some good pickups or something on those lines. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Here we go. Let's go to the show and see what we picked up. Here we are at the first table, and you can see that there's a lot of antiques collectibles, not a lot of hockey. But I did find this Gordie Howe. I did make an offer. He did accept. I think this is going to be a good show. Here we are at another table that does have hockey. You can see that there's some vintage, some base, some 1990s, a whole assortment of stuff. I did manage to pick up a small pile. There was some GMA graded stuff. Not a huge fan of GMA grading. But it was a good little assortment in this box. So let's go on to see what else we find. Here is a dealer with a high-end showcase. You can see that Dreisaitl 9.5, McDavid 9.5, there's a Marner 9.5, Matthews 9.5, Lemieux KSA 9, some 9 Lemieux I was looking at, his autograph, but nothing really stuck out with my price range I wanted to spend today, so let's go on. This is a showcase down from the showcase I just showed. Look at all those Gretzky rookies. You can see that there's a Matthews young gun, Line A young gun. There were some Marners, Eberlees, Monahans, so much crazy stuff. There's some Eichels. But look at those three Gretzky rookie cards right next to it. And check this out, McCarr and McKinnon PSA 10s. One of the last booths of the show that sold hockey was this guy's booth. You can see that he had a pile of Tim Horton stuff. We did manage to make a deal on a stack of rookies, but you can see, look at all the bobbleheads, look at all the Tim Hortons, look at all the Gretzky stuff, carved wood. He had piles and piles of stuff. A lot of prices were a little out there, but he was pretty negotiable on a lot of stuff. Definitely had the Tim Hortons. He had base sets. You can see the trios there the Brock Bessers, and you can also see that he did have different assortment of coins, not a coin guy, but uh, that's pretty cool to end this day off. Here is the last booth while walking out, and you can see that there is some coins. I'm not a coin guy at all. There was some hockey, so I decided to film. Always like looking at different coin sets. It's kind of cool. So let's go to the hockey and see what they have. Here we are, heading out the door, last booth that does hockey, and you can see there's a Gary Cheever's autograph puck for $150, and a dry saddle figure for $30. That rounds it up, guys. Let's go home and see what I picked up. All right, guys, welcome back. So we did pick up a bunch of stuff. First, you've seen in the video, we actually picked up this nice Gordy Howe Eaton's postcard. Not sure how old it is. It is has paint on it. Edens of Canada with his um, fake printed autograph. But you know what? That's really cool. I enjoy Gordie Howe. So that's going to go into his sleeve and probably hit the collection. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But it's a nice little Gordie Howe. The most random lot I picked up was from a kid. And uh, this was like the most random assortment of stuff I have ever bought. So first, it was actually like a... 12 year old kid selling stuff so I had to go and support him he was looking to buy uh, some SBA I believe he was saving up $375 for a box sad that's how the card community is I remember when SBA was I don't know 125 150 bucks a box so we got this flames pin not even sure what it's off of it is the 25th anniversary and that is a Doug Gilmore pin there's Jim uh, Peplinski. Uh, I don't even know what that is either. Kid uh, said a dollar. It's like unscratched to win. Not sure. I guess you can win stuff. So that's kind of cool. Flames fan. I got, he tossed this in as a rookie redemption. So like I said, this was a 12 year old kid with his mom. Nothing really crazy, but you have to support those. That's the future of the hobby. This was kind of cool. Jake Bertanen. This was, what year was this? 1415, so that could have been uh, one of his first years. Or maybe his last year, I am not sure. That's kind of cool. He had this, he didn't really know what it was worth, but it is out of eight. Mike Rusov. That's kind of cool. 
We picked up a uh, Matt Bradley autographed Tigers card. Of course, from uh, that area. So, a lot of people have been missing that Tiger stuff. Uh, Chris Russell. We got a Chris Russell rookie. I think I picked that up for a few bucks, maybe. I'm not sure. I can't remember how much I paid for all this. Got a Dyson Mayo. That's awesome, because now he, after so many years, five years, he finally made it to the NHL for Phoenix. This was kind of cool. He had this. Um, screen Legends of Lana Turner and Ingrid Burr. Bergman, no idea who those are, but it's numbered out of 49, so why not? Kid ha and he also had this, is Logan Stanley, David Quinville, both uh, Logan Stanley, of course, Winnipeg, made his debut maybe last year or two years ago, David Quinville, playing, was AHL, now wherever he's playing, and I believe I had this card before, uh, Yo uh, Yo uh, Yokopaka. He had five bucks on it. I did get a little discount on stuff. So that was the most random lot. The guy beside him, this is some uh, cool stuff. We got a Trevor Kid. He only was asking, I can't remember, less than five bucks for it. So he's still one of the, his goalie pads, still some of the best goalie pads in the NHL. There's Brian Boyle. It's kind of weird, just looking card. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the autograph. I don't know. But it isn't a real card, so... He said it was a buyback, so I don't know. He said he got it in a collection, but a uh, nice little autograph there. We got Tyler Moss for be a player. Hopefully, uh, that is his real autograph and not, uh, and it is a rookie, not in person. Marion Hosa, I think he included that, or maybe I included that. Be a player. Adam Deadmarsh. It's cool. I like that. Be a player. And this Peter Forsberg, letters stamped, don't know why I bought that, thought it was cool. Next assortment of cards, if you've seen in the video, flipping through that box. So we got some good old uh, rookies from 0910 Opeachy. So we got Johnny T, Patrick Elias, Matt Sandin, I did pull out of five black diamond diamond whatever it is so it's kind of cool brad marchand rookie guy didn't really know much about cards so i picked up a bunch of this evander kane of course with the edmonton oilers now it's a no-brainer holpe with a few bucks maybe ns or x medicine at tiger and wolverine from 92 i don't know why i picked that card up i thought it was just cool so there's that and the last uh, was a guy, he had a bunch of dollar, two dollar, three dollar boxes, did a little deal. Of course, when you see a guy bring out the Beckett, not a good, not a good time, but uh, we did come up with a deal that was reasonable, made sense. So we got an Alfredson, a lot of Alfredson rookies. I don't know if these are his real rookies, because I know some of his stuff, it's not actually his rookie card, it's like a year or so later, but uh, enough Danny Alfredson stuff. So there's his rookie, his star rookie. Like, I don't know if that's even uh, or classified as a rookie of his. So I just grabbed all of it. He wanted like 10 bucks for this card. Sadly, I showed him on eBay what they're going for. You can see actually his soul leave his body. Um, Anders Lee, rookie. We got Thomas Hickey, that fourth overall from Calgary. Seth Jones. John Scott, that's a nice one. Justin Schultz, that is uh, retro. Noah Hannafin, of course, with the Flames. Backland, that was a nice one. Ellers, I think he wanted like 8 or 12 bucks for this Ellers. This uh, European Sindin, like 5 bucks. I don't know. But we did find a deal that actually did make sense. We got, th that was actually a pretty cool one. We got uh, the Platinum. Opeachy Platinum, whatever, Rainbow. Simone Dupree. Nick Cousins, not a big Nick Cousins fan. Out of $3.99. This is really cool. Hot Prospects out of $5.99. Fiala, TJ Brody on the Flames. Dumba, probably top five best defensemen in the NHL. He's great. A lot of, a lot of people collect him. 
Zadorov, of course. Had to grab him. Flames fan. Carlson. Eller's medal. Can't remember. He had a Fleer showcase. This was the medal one. He had like 30 bucks or something on it. Trevor Linden. Rookie. I think I, I only saw him for maybe three, four bucks, maybe. Shane Doan. Matt Molson. This one, I have no idea how it got in my pile. My, maybe I accidentally walked off with it. I don't know. Nick Cousins, not a huge Nick Cousins fan. We've got Point. Dumba, this is really cool. This is a uh, refractor. So you can see it refracting right, or light. And Voracek. So we have one more show to go to. And this coming up week, we'll be posting the video. So thank you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Do not forget to share. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day, guys. Have a good night. I'm the car collector, and I'm out.